Hello. Hey, is anybody up? Anybody up? It's Thursday night. I've listened to Jimmy Kimmel. I've watched Late Night. All the guys doing their late night shows from their homes. And I just thought I'd check in on you guys. See if anybody was up. Are you up? Where are you? No, not you. Where are you? There we go. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. We can chat. Let me turn the, uh, <clears throat> we can chat. Yes. Hey. Hey, Mr. Stewart. Hey, Mr. Stewart. How are you? <laughs> uh, so here's my thought. Uh, I can actually see your comments and uh, we can we can have a conversation and and it'll kind of be live and and uh, yeah so what are you doing tonight it's where are you what city what are you in Calgary <laughs> yeah so tell me what's going on tell me what's happening listen let me tell you what's happening I have a new context so we're not in isolation we're not uh, hi Janine from Australia it's five in the afternoon lots of love to you and your household thank you so tell me it's it must be almost fall there isn't it where are you in Australia I love the uh, the East Coast lived in in Mullum Mullumbimby for a while and uh, fell in love with the East Coast and the Byron area uh, beautiful part of Australia, but where are you, Janine? Hey. Um, so, I have a new context for this. We're not in isolation. You're in Queensland, of course. You're not in isolation. We're not in isolation. We're not in, in quarantine. We're on retreat. This is what we've asked for, is retreat time. Many of us, Yes, Mullumbimby is lovely, isn't it? Yes. Many of us have asked to spend more time with our spouses, more time with our kids, and here it is. Uh, we're getting that time. So all, you know, it's hard to, to make light of, <clears throat> of what's going on in people's lives, but, but the truth is it, that, uh, Yes, it is a great way to think of it. Thank you. Yeah, we're on retreat. We are on retreat, and and uh, I don't know about you guys, but quite a bit of mine is actually a silent retreat, and and uh, more time for meditating. Like, here's here's my thought. Like, maybe um, consciousness is not of high value for you. Maybe personal development, or or well, I don't even want to call it personal development. I used to call it that. Maybe consciousness or mindfulness or uh, answering the big questions like who are you aren't on your list. But they could be now. Many of us have time. Many of us have time. So what I've been doing uh, this last little while, today I did three live interviews. You can find them on either my YouTube channel uh, uh, or uh, which is Valley and Beyond on YouTube. I love it if you go there and and uh, and subscribe. You, so you can find it on the YouTube channel, or you can find them on um, my Facebook Live. So three interviews today. Um, all people who are making a difference. Uh, all people who have uh, are really quite committed to 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 consciousness, to to being present in the moment. Now. If, if if you're saying to yourself, what the hell is he talking about, being present in the moment? What is that? Well, hmm, it is, um, once it's happened, once you've actually kind of realized that most of the time we're in our mind thinking about the future or thinking about the fa past or worrying or trying to fix things, and if you can sit for a while and sit quietly and, and just start to see, it seems so simple now, but uh, for a long time, I, I just, I didn't get it. You know, I thought I got it and, and, uh, and, and the 
truth is I had glimpsed it somewhat, but, but I, I never really got it until recently. But once you've got it, once you've, can't even say felt it, and it isn't you that gets it, but once you've connected with the moment, and, and it's almost impossible to describe this thing that happens. You no longer, um, it, you have a choice. We have we then sort of have a choice, to, but it isn't you that has the choice. But you can know when you're not present. You can know when you're not in the moment. You can know when you're um, in your fear. And, and you can make a decision. That's the deal. And Janine, are you still there? You can make a decision. And the decision can be to be here now. And uh, so I encourage you to, to practice, to take this time to discover. Um, there's nothing, there is nothing once this has happened that, that, is, that could possibly trump this. Nothing. So once you've experienced this, <laughs> this, this nothingness, this isness, this um, peace, this this stillness, this thing that's so hard to describe, we we call it um, awakening or we call it enlightenment, and and and, but once you've experienced this, there. There's no need to worry about anything ever again. We know. We know. So I encourage you to take this time to um, hang with the masters. Now, who am I speaking about? I mean, there's so many people who have, uh, who have recognized that we are not um, who we thought we were. That we are not um, our jobs. What we do for work is just what we do for work. It's not who you are. And when you ask the question, who am I? Who am I? And it's a big question. It's a question we should be asking every day. Who am I? And, and uh, ask the mind a million times, who am I? Ask the mind ten million times if it's necessary till the mind finally concedes. J.R., what are you doing up? Hi, honey. Hi, my love. Wow. I'm so tickled. <laughs> uh, so ask the mind a million times, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? And eventually it will surrender. It will surrender. And there is this peace, this beyondness that's available. And, and take this time. Um, especially if you're home and not working, take this time to to drop into this nothingness, this openness, this thing that can't really be described. Um, I find myself trying to, to share about it, but all I can do mostly is tell you what it's not. And it's, it's not what you think it is. If you think it's something, then it's not that. Because it's not something that we can see with the mind. <laughs> Jay, are you still there? Say something. Hi, honey. Like, say hello, David. Um, I think it's so cool that you're here. Um, so it's not something in in. Hmm. Yeah. So we realize that there's nowhere to go. There's nothing to be. We already are. Everything. I know sounds weird and so we're kind of caught up we're we're in the illusion and we're stuck in it and and uh, this idea that everything depends on um our income and everything depends on no these are the practical things and they're important for sure but <clears throat> it worrying about any of it is not this it's just a waste of time why we just a waste of time so, and it doesn't mean that <coughs> that this stuff doesn't come up, but it's that we don't have to entertain it. And if the longer you, we stop entertaining uh, our fears, 
or entertaining our complaint or entertaining our um, judgments or, or being attached to this idea that we know better or know, you know, the longer we go without engaging the stories from the mind of right and wrong and good and bad, it just kind of gets tired. It stops coming around and we can be in a space of, you know, of emptiness. The, and when we're living from the mind, the mind loves drama, loves drama, loves to tell stories, loves to talk about people. <laughs> Did you hear the, about so-and-so? And, and, uh, hmm. and then our whole context in life can shift from... Um, we, we lose our concern about what people think. Like, it just doesn't matter. Who gives a shit what people think? We lose our fear of, of you know, status or position or any of that stuff. It just doesn't matter. It's gone. Can you imagine being free like that? Hey? Hey, you guys. Anyway, anybody interested in a little late-night freedom? Uh, anybody interested in in um, not ever having to have fear again? Oh, I understand. I understand. And I and I'm here with you to sh share that I do understand that it looks like there's something to be afraid of, and that there is no way that that from where you're standing that it can't look fearful. But I'm telling you, you know. Practice meditation, practice going deep within, and watch what happens. You know, just, I get it. I know it seems scary. It's, it's, so watch the mind. You know, if you meditate, you'll start to see that you are not your mind. The mind has a, it's going on its own. It just, thoughts are running in there and out of there all the time. It, and it's just, it's like, I, I like to think of it as, there was a, a, a show years and years and years ago called Lost in Space, I think it was, and there was a little robot, and he was always running around saying, warning, warning, danger approaching, warning, warning, danger approaching. Do you remember that? Does anybody remember that? You have to be older to remember that. And, and But that's like the mind. The mind's always looking for good and bad, and this is good, and that is bad, and oh my God, this is right, and this is wrong, and it's always judging, and, and, and it it's, it's, will torment you, and it's always in resistance, often, to what is. So how do we find that peace, you know? And many of us spend our time um, numbing it, you know, pacifying it. Well, you know, we smoke a lot of dope, and no judgment on the dope smokers. I'm just saying that it can be to avoid because we don't know how to to get past the mind. So we're we, you know, not me, but many people are smoking dope just to to numb out. And and uh, wow, imagine spending your whole life being stoned and missing it. I got stoned and I missed it. I got stoned and I missed it. So you know, is is that where we want to be? So it's a big jump for many of you. Big, big jump. It's like, oh my gosh, what the fuck is he talking about? You know, that there's somewhere that we can live inside of here that knows no fear. That, um, you know, knows no uncertainty, but knows no certainty. It's comfortable in, a, in not knowing. It's, it's totally comfortable in not knowing. And, you know, this came... Really, after years and years of, of, of saying that this is what I wanted, it kind of came not that long ago. And then it just keeps getting more. It just keeps getting, you know. And I've been listening a lot to Muji. <laughs> and I... Uh, anyway, I've been... Muji is uh, this uh, amazing um, teacher. And uh, I've you know, spent a lifetime with different teachers. Who is your teacher? Does anybody here have a teacher? Uh, my one of my you know original teachers actually lives in Australia now, in uh, um, just outside of Mullum, and uh, um, Paul Lowe. Paul was amazing, the most clear man I ever spent time with, and the most loving, and and uh, 
and, and a great storyteller and a great singer. We used to sing, we used to tone together, many of us. It was amazing. And uh, But Paul would say, be here now. And we'd be like, what does he mean? Be here now. Okay, you know, but we just, it just was like, what is he saying? Be here now. Am I not here? <laughs> And it's hard to explain it to you because it can't be really explained until, you know, and, and although there's some great methods available now to jump into this presence, if you're interested, there's some great methods to jump into presence, to be here now. Uh, one of them is uh, um, the Enlightenment Intensive which is you spend days, maybe three days or seven days, uh, doing dyads, um, maybe 16 hours a day or longer. 16 hours a good, is a good day. 16 hours a day of dyads. And the question that you ask in the dyad over and over and over again could be, there's a couple of them, but one of them, they're called a koan. The question's called a koan. And the koan, the question is, tell me who you are. And you ask the mind uh, like a thousands of times tell me who you are and the possibility that can happen is that the mind eventually surrenders and and all of the story all of the story of who we think we are disappears and we have that space that we drop into the silence the stillness the emptiness the openness the love um, the real state of love you know, we think that love is a feeling. We think that love is an emotion. And it's beyond that. You know, Dr. David Hawkins talks about unconditional love. It's a very high vibration with no judgment, no fear. Just a very high unconditional love. And unconditional love heals. You know, being in that vibration of, of acceptance and and compassion and beyond acceptance actually and beyond compassion but is amazing how would you like to live there i think that what's happening right now can be a huge catalyst for us to do the work to really explore what does it mean to awaken what does it mean to to you know what is enlightenment you know and and uh Although those names don't do it justice. But anyway, that's, that's my job for the rest of my days is to um, find folks that are interested to, in this possibility of dropping into this space and knowing a, like a conscious connection with with the one, with the now, and and living from that space, and it doesn't mean that we don't we don't disappear or that we're not taking care of the practical. We'll know what needs to happen as it arises. We'll stop in a way the management of our lives. We'll turn it over each morning to this universal intelligence, this quantum field that. Uh, Deepak talks about the quantum field, you know, and and uh, and we'll know because we'll be connected in each moment, and we'll serve where we need to serve. Yes, our life might change. We may have to let go of some things that we've been hanging on to, because we were afraid of how we looked, or we we're afraid of, of, you know, uh, that life won't take care of us. Life is always taking care of us, always. You know. That's it. In in spite of, in in spite of my management, life has always looked after me. <laughs> so, you know, whatever you think is happening, mm, let's look beyond it. Let's look beyond what we think is happening. So, I also want to say, uh, a couple of authors. I'm I'm a big on Muji, uh, M O O J I. Ch check him out. I'm big on uh, Ramdas. And uh, Dr. David Hawkins, uh, Alan Watts, uh, these are, you know, people who have been pointing the way for a long time. Osho, I, st I still love Osho. Funny, uh, funny guy, Osho. Hmm. Yeah, 
So, if you've had enough, if you're ready to surrender, if you said, God, help me, you said in your prayers, if you said, you know, God, help me, what's going on? Um, let's talk. Call me anytime, you guys. I love you. And uh, let's get you free. Okay. Cheers. <laughs>